Hello, and we're back live from Singapore. We are back with the journeyman. It's been a very long time, but roll the intro. Welcome back to the Journeyman Save. I am Cultured Left Foot. It's a pleasure to have you with me. Man, it's been a long time. Probably around about a month, I think, since I did the last video. So thank you so much for sticking with the channel. All those patrons that are still donating. Everybody that's still been watching videos. I mean, it's been absolutely incredible. Thank you so much for the support. All the likes on Twitter and the YouTube videos that are still getting likes and comments. Brett Higgins, thank you so much for watching the NK, the NK Maribor Save literally all the way through. I'm not too sure if you've got to the, the end of it yet, where we get to the Champions League final and something might just happen. But uh, uh, it's all fun and games anyway. Hopefully the sound is okay in our new apartment, in my new man room. There are a few boxes still lying around, as you can see. But um, it's, it's, it's getting there. Our new apartment's lovely. Three bedroom, view of a swimming pool, got a view of the Botanical Gardens and Bukatima Nature Reserve. It is unbelievable. Love it here. It's so good. Really good. Hopefully the lighting's okay. I've got a bit of a shadow on this side of my face because the lighting I've only got is up there or up there at the moment. But we're getting there. We are getting there. The main thing is I'm pretty sure the sound should be sorted out because last episode was pretty bad. So, bit of admin. We're meant to be back to be playing Schalke today. I recorded that episode and realised that the mic wasn't plugged in. So, we've got a game against Carpi, Capri. Carpi or Capri, I can't remember which one it is. That's who we're going to be playing today, them. Carpi, Carpi, they're bottom of the league. So hopefully you're coming in for a good game because it is bottom V top if we look at the schedule. Um, we were last together for the game against AC Milan. We won 2 1 after getting a man sent off. It was very, 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 very nice indeed. 3 uh, 0, we beat Torino. Uh, Ozkan, Zakini, and Belov own goal. We then drew 3 3 with Besiktas. Jovan Markovic, new signing from Liverpool on loan, looks very good. He's leading the line at the moment with, you'll figure out who in a minute. 2-2, two -two, we drew with Lazio, Callum Bacon getting a goal. And then we went on a bit of a pattern. Better Veneto, 2-1 win, Markovic and Bacon. Uh, Empoli, 3-1 win, Bacon, Markovic and Zakini. We've just drawn 1-1 one -one with Schalke with Callum Bacon getting the goal in the first half. They completely outplayed us. We didn't deserve anything, but we did come away with a draw. And today we're going to be playing Carpi. But before we do that, let's have a quick look at some stats in the team. So ever present so far is Mavogo in goal, Orsolini at right wing, Mandagorda, who has signed on a free transfer from Juventus. Uh, in central midfield and Hendricks, the club captain at left back. They play eight of eight possible games, which is really good. Goals wise, we have Markovic five in five or five in six if you include the sub appearances with four assists on a 7.83. The boy is brilliant. He has been playing really, really well. Callum Bacon, a seven goal, uh, sorry, four goals in seven, then Zucchini with two, and then a number of people that have scored one. Assist wise, it is Markovic that leads the way, and Jan Janjevic on loan from Southampton is um, playing very, very well at the moment. Getting a good number of assists, 7.8. He's actually keeping, where is he? A guy that's moaning a lot. Uh, Benavuno Bioko out of the team, who we actually paid money for. And I don't like the fact that Loney's getting in ahead of him. So he might play today against the team bottom of the league. And we'll see how he gets on, see what we can do. We've also brought in Jan Petrovic, finally agreed to move to us on loan. So Jan, welcome back with the rest of the Patreons. The only two Patreons now we don't have at the club are Drew Whelan, uh, that's not what it's much easier if I just search for CLF. Um, Drew Whelan, who I think last time I checked had broken into the Leverkusen first team. He is in the first team. Yeah, three appearances. Not done very, not done brilliantly, but he's made three appearances for them uh, in the league. All as substitutes. So it hasn't had much time to about in the cup. Look at that. Two in two in the cup for Drew Whelan. And of course, Marco Toss, who... Um, is playing for rivals into Milan and progressing into a very, very good player. Not had much game time this season so far, but after his £23 million move, featured a lot, scored a good number of goals for Inter Milan over the last two years. But yeah, so they're the only patrons we don't have at the club at the moment. Um, Stats-wise, average weighting, 7 point, wait, wait, waiting, average rating, 7.83, 7 7.64, 7.81, uh, 7.16, 7.14. Lots of people above a 7. Everyone else doing pretty well around the 6s and a couple of 
people propping up the bottom in uh, Patanga and Bacano. Bioka there as well, but he's hopefully going to improve on that in today's game. Dynamics wise, everything's going very, very well. The managerial support is pretty good because I've got a good reputation. Dressing routes is pretty good because we're top of the league. And match cohesion is good because we've been playing the 4 4 2 for quite some time. Um, if we look at the hierarchy then, supporting me, we have club captain Hendricks, Madragora, Evangelisti, Bioko, Callum Bacon, and Lovro as well. I'm sure Brett Higgins will support me sooner or later, as will Jan Petrick. Uh, in the social groups, pretty much everybody's in the core group. We have the guys that came from Leverkusen in the secondary social group because they will speak German, and then others uh, who don't really seem to get on with anyone. Jan Jevic, Jan Petrik, you're brand new to the club, so we'll let you off. Same with Markovic and Correa. They're all they're all new to the club, actually, so that's not a problem. Happiness, everybody looks pretty happy apart from Bayoko, who just wants to play football. Um, these guys are slightly unhappy because they support him, but they'll soon learn that I'm correct. I don't really need to do a team meeting. I didn't mean to click on that. That was an accident. Competitions-wise, we are uh, second in the league. We have been top all the way. But obviously, we've got a game in hand on Inter. If we beat Carpi, who are bottom, then we go top by a point, which will be wonderful news. Um, as I said, Euro Cup hasn't gone spectac spectacularly well so far. Two games, two draws from Gelkshank and Besiktas. We have got the whipping boys of the group still to play, but they did pick up a draw against Besiktas. So... Yeah, that's uh, quite interesting. Italian Cup, we haven't been drawn into it yet, and we lost the Super Cup to Juventus, which was a little bit annoying. Um, other than that, not too much else to discuss. We're going to let the assistant do that, and uh, we're going to crack on into the game against Carpi, where we're going to have a nice little chat about my plan. Well, not my plans for the channel. What do you think I should do with the channel? What do you think we should do, um, and how do you think we should progress it? Because we've had quite a long hiatus well not we i i have had quite a long hiatus with the break um, and it's given me a bit of a time to reflect and get a feeling to what what i think about the channel and things like that so obviously i love playing football manager football manager will always be on the channel i'm interested to know do you guys want me to see me play other games or should i just play football manager i mean i don't have the most time in the world to record these videos um, i still don't have a schedule sorted just yet to understand when i will be recording and when videos will go out. And then I've also got a factor in the time difference when you guys can see it. Um, Umbacano is going to come in for Lovro at centre-back. We will bring in Bioko at right-back for Janjevic. And Zielinski is going to get rested. And Brett Higgins is going to start in the middle. Um, and then it will be Lovro for Savic. Kalea for Patanga. And then Petrik and Regazzini can join the bench. So we're going to have three people short on the bench. Hendrix is still tired, so we're actually going to bring in Marvin Schaefer as well at left back. Um, we're going to go from there, I think. We'll just submit that team. We'll go get into the game. But yeah, so I don't have a schedule for when I'm going to upload football manager videos. I don't know how much time I've got to do these things. But going forward, when I do get a schedule sorted, um, we should be winning this one fairly comfortably. Get out there, play your own game, and get the result we need. And then assertively, there's a lot more to come for me today, get out there and win it. Send a assistant to that. Get the game underway. But yeah, I mean, it's it's all a bit up in the air, really. And the next question is, I have enjoyed the journey in save, but I haven't really got into it as much as I did with the NK Maribor save, where you get a real sort of feeling with the club. You 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 gel with the club with your making it a long term save with one club. It all seems to go just a little bit better. Um, and they've put wood in. They're in here, and they've hit the outside of the post. So we're going to straight away try and control this game because. We need to get that possession back and dominate them. That's what we need to do. But, um, yeah, just need, like, I don't know. I feel like I'm better suited to building a team up from the bottom rather than moving from club to club to club. But that doesn't mean I want to end the, end the journeyman save. The journeyman save was always going to be until we won the Champions League. But if you guys would prefer me to do a save similar to the NK Maribor save that we did before, you've just got to let me know down below because we can end this journeyman save at the end of this season, hopefully, wrapping up the Serie A or Calcio A title um, and go from there and start a new save with a small club, maybe in Singapore, who knows, um, and see what we can do from that. As we come on the attack, it looks like. Brett Higgins to Bioko, the guy that's got to impress, puts the ball in and that's a very easy catch for Zakagano in goal. Um, and we are playing well, we just haven't had the breakthrough yet. And again, they're setting up with this 3-1-4-2, which seems very popular. He looked offside, he looked an absolute mile offside, but he wasn't. And yeah, the 3 one 4 2 is very popular in uh, Italy this season in my game. It's very annoying to come across it every single game. As Wood shoots, it's a great save from Avogo. And then Orsolini hooks a clearance away. 
And uh, we're not dominating this game as much as I thought we would. So we are trying to retain the possession as it's a good header from Mbakano. Callum Bacon into Markovic. He's got Orsolini. He plays him in. Back post is on. If he can find it, is it a penalty? It's not. Markovic picks up. Orsolini, don't shoot. He squares it. Matt Gorda shoots just high and wide. Not the best finish in the world. One shot on target. That is absolutely abysmal when you consider we're playing the team bottom of the league. As uh, Zach Cagano, uh, is, well, it's a great header again, Umpacano, not started the season very well. Lovro was keeping his place, but suspension to Lovro has given Umpacano a game. Or Cellini, Markovic, Callum Bacon is on through the middle, but the ball's blocked. Brett Higgins out to Schaefer, in for Hendricks. Zekini, who's started the season very well. Markovic is there. Jovan Markovic again on loan from Liverpool gets another in Serie A. This guy is on form. That does move us up into the top position in the league as Brett Higgins. Great ball out to the left. Schaefer up the line to Zacchini in space. Zek Nanini. Zek Nanini? Zekini? Zucchini? I don't know what to call him. Markovic with a great towering header makes it 1 0 Napoli. And we are on the road to going back to top of the league, which is exactly what we wanted to do. So it is going pretty well. But yeah, let me know down below um, how you feel about this save. Do we end it after this season and go and start a new series? Do you want to see this series continue until we win the Champions League? Um, I just want to do, I love playing football manager, whatever. I, I do prefer doing it with a smaller club and making them big in Europe to try and win the Champions League or in Asia to try and win the Asian Champions League or, you know, have a goal at the end of it for one club. That is the sort of save I prefer, building them up from, from little to big, as it were. So, um, certainly, I'm pleased to have things are going. Keep it up. Don't need to say anything more than that. We are playing well. We've got a one goal lead. Let's just go out there and make it count and really stick it to them as. Uh, Carpi get us underway so it will only be the one game in today's episode so sorry about that but um, just trying to get back into the swing of things there's Orsolini in loads of space good save from Zekagano Orsolino sort of shot straight at him which is a bit disappointing as uh, Orsolino the ball in I do have a new layout as well on my desk so if I keep looking in the wrong place that will be why um, Ubicano Brett Higgins and as if that ended there what a stupid place to end it so Mandragora not having the best of games we could bring um, on one of the other players to come play next to him. Maybe Jan Petrick, but I think it's a bit too defensive for Jan. As uh, Madragora is there. Back to Brett Higgins. Because there a ball through there to Markovic. He tried, but it got intercepted. Caravella, with a bit of time, picks out Wood. Wood, he's got a runner in front of him. Upakano again, having a great game on his return to the first team. Callum Bacon, Evangelisti, Schaefer, Schaffer. Into Zucchini, or Zucchini, however you want to pronounce his name. Zucchini does one. Back to Madragora. Out to Orsolini in a bit of space. Penalty! It is, and it's going to be Orsolini to take it on a yellow card. Having a pretty decent game on the right wing. Stepping up left-footed. Orsolini to take it and places it. Sending the goalkeeper the wrong way. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. Slots it into the bottom corner. We don't really need to see the replay um, of a penalty, so we'll skip that one. And we'll keep going. That improves Madrigora's rating as well. Brett Higgins is on a 6.7. Everyone doing pretty much okay. Uh, don't need to take anyone off at the moment. 60 minutes in, 2 0 up, and Morbidini throws it basically straight to Markovic. And Bacon's through the middle, and he's picked him out of the glorious pass. Callum Bacon lobs. Ah! Lobs the goal, lobs the goalkeeper, lobs the bar as well. So I think, Callum, that's going to be your last involvement in the game. We are going to bring. Am I going to do. Yeah, let's shove. We'll shove Jan Petrick up front as a poacher and see how he gets on. How do you fancy that, Jan? Hey, we'll put you up top. Give you a little bit of a run out. Patreon for Patreon. A quick Patreon substitution. And we get the game back underway. We're 15, 25 minutes to go. Um, but yeah, and so yeah, I'm interested into what you guys want to know about the channel. What you think of its direction. What sort of things we do. Also, let me know down below if you want to know anything about Singapore. Um, happy to answer any questions. If you want me to talk about Singapore then we can if I'm going to talk about lifestyles and things like that um, if you're not following me on Twitter you should be at culturedf on Twitter give me a follow there'll be photos from Singapore there'll be photos from some of the Singaporean football games that I'm going to be going to very soon and uh, yeah some photos of the apartment and stuff now that we're pretty much settled in our own place which is really really good for our lives because we were living in a service department and although it was quite fun the novelty wore off pretty pretty soon or pretty quickly care of wood is there and he's headed it in bobby wood um isn't bobby wood the american who yes 33 year old american obviously scoring against me like like they would it was a good header at the back post i'm hoping that isn't going to be uh the start of something really annoying that then makes us throw this away as there is another highlight before the game ends 
Aramu is uh, doesn't even go for the header, but Evangelisti heads it to Christie to Sensi. Evangelisti reads it. Or Cellini to Markovic. Markovic, ball across. Jan Petric, he's through one on one. Jan Petric, oh, he shot straight at Zakogano. Um, as they've changed to a 4 3 3 narrow, balls in. Christie heads it away. Or Cellini on the edge. Madragora, Evangelisti, the centre back, doesn't really want the ball there. Is that a foul? It is a foul. Let's now just see this game out. As we go into injury time, two minutes to go, one minute to go. And uh, this should be the game, unless they're now going to score. Because they've got three on two. Obviously they do. And that's a terrible cross. All he had to do was pick out one of the other strikers. And uh, there's the full-time whistle. And we've just about hung on. We've absolutely dominated them, to be fair. Uh, so I am going to say it was a good, good win. Well done. It was very good. It was very, very good. So, yeah, um, it was only going to be a one-game episode. It's going to be about 15 minutes, I think, this episode. We will be leaving it there. We'll just have a quick look when we come back. We'll have a quick look at the schedule and see what game we'll be in. I'm pretty sure we've got a game against Juventus, which um, is also around the, another big game. Yeah, there. So we can either do Vodja Vadina and Juventus or Juventus and Roma. Um, and we'll go from that. We'll look at that. We've got Inter and AC Milan back to back as well. That'll be a, definitely a good one to do. So, um, yeah, we'll be back around this time sometime, sometime in early November for our next games. In fact, it will probably be Vodja Vadina and Juventus because I've just realised the gap between Juventus and Roma is pretty big. So, yeah, it'll probably be Vodja Vadina and Juventus is when we are back. As I said, please do leave any questions you have down below. I'm happy to answer them. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you're happy that we're back. And I'm back doing Football Manager videos on the channel. Hopefully this video will get as much attention as all the others and you still really enjoy it. But thank you very much for watching. Please do leave a like, comment um, and spread the news. Spread it to whoever you want. Let's get more people involved in the channel and the little community that we've grown here. So thank you very much for watching. But for now, I'm out. Cheers.